Hello, this is Mr. Molo for Lesson 6-2, Describing Functions. So now we're in this lesson, we're pretty much just going to take a look at the functions, talk about whether it's proportional or not proportional, linear, nonlinear, um, things like that. So again, kind of going back to what we did in 6-1, uh, let's look at example 1 here. So we can kind of tell, um, based on the equation here, we have a 2x plus 8. Remember, if, as long as we don't have that x squared in there, we should be able to get a linear function. Um, so if we look down at the rest of this problem, we can see that if we plug in a 0, or 2, or 4, or 6, we did some math to figure out 2 times 0 plus 8 is 8, 2 times 2 plus 8 is 12, and then 2 times 4 plus 8 is 16, um, and then 2 times 6 plus 8 is 20. So once we plot all those points, we get something that looks like that, which then would be a linear function. So if you have a graph, we're looking for something that's a straight line. Um, if we have an equation, we're looking for something that doesn't have that x squared. Um, so this one right here says, state whether the, the relationship between x and y in y equals 0.5x is proportional or non-proportional. And then remember, for non-proportional, we can't have that y-intercept. So we have to make sure that this goes through the zero point. So since 0.5x doesn't have a y-intercept, doesn't have a b, there's no b there, that means it's 0 0.5 plus zero, which means it would be proportional. Okay, remember, proportional means it has to be a straight line and go through the zero, zero point through the origin. And that would be a straight line and go through zero zero. Um, this one's talking about whether or not it's linear. Okay, and like I said before, we see y equals x squared. Well, right away I see that x squared, and I know it's not going to be linear. Mr. Molo is right. So looking at the graph here, um, if we plug in one, one squared is one, two squared is two, three squared is three, four squared is sixteen. So when we plot these points on our graph. We get something that looks like this curve right here. And that curve line means it's not going to be a linear graph. Um, and then looking at number three on your on the your turn. So so the machine makes two-thirds of a gallon every minute. The total amount y that the machine makes in x minutes is given by the equation y equals two-thirds x. Determine if the relationship between x and y is linear, and if so, the proportional. So we can kind of see right here. My equation is y equals two-thirds x, no x squared, no anything like that. So it would be linear, um, and then we don't have a y-intercept. There's no plus or minus a number there, so then we would know it's proportional. So this one would be linear, and it would be proportional. Okay, and then we'll fill in the, uh, the rest of this box here. So if zero goes in for my x, well, two-thirds times zero is zero. 3 goes in for my x, 2 thirds of 3 is 2. Um, let's figure out this 9 one quick. So 2 thirds of 9 would be 6. So this one's a little trickier here because now it gives me the answer, but I need to figure out what that x would be. So what number, 2 thirds of what number would give me 4? And so we would do the opposite. We'd divide by 2 thirds. So 4 divided by 2 thirds would end up giving me 6. So 6 would be how I would complete that table. Alright, and then let's look at a couple.